What is shaking, my fellow and future podcasters? JLD here. It is right at the top of the hour. And I wanted to jump in, say what's up, give a shout out to some people that are in the chat right now. We got 1040 Diabetic, Karen McClintock. Uh, we also have Kelsey Smith in the house. We also have, scrolling down here, A Ron rocking and rolling, uh, Kay Lathrop. We have Seth Davis. Yvette, Guest981, M. Hiroka, Tom M., Tracy H., Alexander, Gina, Nancy. A lot of great people. Nancy says, me, Nancy Summers. <laughs> love it, love it, guys. Just wanted to jump in and say what's up to everybody real quick before we kick into this masterclass, this podcast masterclass, all about, you guessed it, creating, growing, and monetizing your podcast. So, let me break into a little thank you for every single person who is here with us today. And if you stick around till the end, I have something pretty sweet for everybody. It is the number one ranked book in all of Amazon on podcasting, and it is called Podcast Launch. If you go to podcasting, type the word podcast in, this is your first result with over 500 five-star reviews, and it is my gift to you if you do me a favor and stick around till the end and actually engage in the comments and say hello and just be a person of value and really engage with this content that I'll be delivering to you today. So make sure you do all of those things and you will be off to the races with podcast launch. Now today's workshop is going to be about how to create a podcast, how to launch a podcast, how to grow your podcast audience, and how to monetize your podcast to a meaningful level. I'll be giving you some live podcast training. We have live Q&A, by the way. That's where I will answer any and every question that you have at the end of the masterclass. And of course, we'll be giving you a sneak peek of Podcasters Paradise because that's just what we do. It's the number one podcast community in the world, and I want you to be able to check that out. So without any further ado, let's get started. And I love getting started by just flipping on the video camera for a second and just saying a big hello to people. I'm coming at you live. The Fire Nation studio is in effect. Here's EO Fire Studios. And I just wanted to give a, a quick hello and say what's up to everybody. And Keep chatting in the chat. Kate Eel Fire is there. She's in the house and she will be answering any questions she can. But of course, keeping a tab of all questions that you have for me that I'll answer during the live Q&A session as well. So hi, everybody. Hope you're good. Looking forward to uh, chatting later and soon and all the other things. Let me flip on back to the presentation because as promised, we are going to get started. And I love starting and really getting going by busting some podcasting myths because they're out there and they hold people back and they really just shouldn't. So what is myth number one? John, I don't have the time to podcast. Like I get it. We're all quote unquote busy. And if you don't have the time to podcast, you just don't understand the process and the systems and the automations that you can do with podcasting. All you need is one day a month to have a very successful consistent weekly podcast. And in Podcasters Paradise, we give you the step-by-step -step training on how exactly that looks and works. Myth number two is, John, I'm not going to get the tech side. I just, I'm not a tech person. My friends, it is so much simpler than you think. It is so much simpler than you think. So don't get hung up on the tech stuff. And myth number three is, I don't have a radio voice, John. I'm just not good behind the mic. Who cares, literally and figuratively, who cares? In fact, I will tell you, people don't want to listen to radio voices. They want your voice, your true, authentic, genuine, individual voice because they're tuning in to listen to you and your guests and the content that you are sharing. So not only busted some myths, let me give you a little background of my journey. I'm from the state of Maine, and I'm actually going to be going back to Maine this coming Sunday for a little two-week trip. I like to go back in the summer when it's warm. My parents live on a lake, so I get to enjoy a nice couple weeks on a summer lake in Maine or on a lake in the summer of Maine would be a better way to structure that sentence. But there I am in the fall as a four-year-old boy jumping around in the leaves. There I am at 18 years old, heading off to Providence College in Rhode Island, go Friars. And then there I am far right in my full battle rattle. I am ready to go during my 13-month tour of duty in Iraq. I was a U.S. Army officer for eight years, four active, four in the reserves. And one thing I really want to bring your attention to in these three photos is my smile. I was a happy boy. I was a happy young adult. I was a happy adult. Even though I was in Iraq, I was a happy adult. I mean, 
I was just optimistic. I just had um, happiness written all over me. It was just who I was. But post-military, I lost that smile, not just for a month, not just for six months, but for six years. I really was unhappy in the path of my life, in my day-to-day -day for six years. I went to law school and it just wasn't for me. That just wasn't a happy place. I dropped out after one semester, by the way. I tried corporate finance. I was dying the slow death in a cubicle. It just wasn't my happy place. Real estate, I tried both commercial, residential in California and Maine, and it just wasn't me. I just wasn't able to figure it out. Or I, just, I shouldn't say I wasn't able to figure it out because I figured it out and I was successful in a lot of ways, but I wasn't able to figure out how to enjoy what I was doing. And looking back, it's so obvious. I mean, I had no passion. I had absolutely no fire for anything that I was doing. But luckily, I did have an aha moment back in 2012, and that was to launch Entrepreneurs on Fire. Now, when I launched, I want to be very clear with everybody here on this live masterclass today, I had exactly zero broadcasting experience. I had no online presence whatsoever. So wherever you are right now on your skill level, on your experience level, on your online presence level, believe me, you are ahead of where I was when I launched. But I did go from clueless to launch. I was able to figure it out. And like every single person now on this live masterclass, people who I've called out like Gina and Aaron and Amy Grace and MH and Kevin M um, and Kay Lathrop. And, you know, let's see, Nancy was in the house too. Just like every one of you lovely people who are joining us here live today and engaging with Kate in the chat and engaging with each other. I went searching for content about podcasting. I, I went searching just like you. Unfortunately, Back in 2012, there were just a couple crappy blog posts. There wasn't much to learn because there wasn't much content out there. There wasn't things like this free podcast masterclass or my book podcast launch. There just weren't things like that back then. So I had to invest heavily in myself and I invested in the best of the best. I hired Jamie Masters, um, who's the podcast host of The Eventual Millionaire. She was my first one-on-one -on -one mentor and it was a great experience because she was a successful business podcast host and she taught me how to become a successful business this podcast host, but it was thousands and thousands of dollars every single month. I hired Cliff Ravenscraft. She joined his podcast Answer Man Mastermind. And unfortunately, it no longer exists because it was a wonderful community, but it was $3,500 for one year access to that. So it was a ton of work or a ton of money and a ton of work. Now, did this investment in myself actually pay off? Well, since launch, we've won best of iTunes. We've generated well over 60 million downloads. I built an incredibly large audience, which I lovingly refer to as Fire Nation. And we are consistently generating over $150,000 a month in revenue. And I want to be clear, this all comes from a podcast. Entrepreneurs on Fire is the foundation of everything that we do. So if you're looking to make a podcast your foundation, good thought. Now let's talk about you actually creating your podcast. The number one question that I get by a long shot is, John, what should my podcast topic be? And it's a very fair question. So all you need to do, and don't do this now, but do this at some point in the future, maybe later tonight or maybe tomorrow, just take a piece of paper out, draw a line down the middle. On the left-hand side, write the word curiosity. On the right-hand side, write the word expertise. And then set the timer for five minutes. And during those five minutes on the left-hand side, write everything that you're curious about. What are you passionate about? What do you love to do as a kid, as a young adult, and now as an adult? Just write everything down. And then the timer is going to go off. And then on the right-hand side, set a timer for five minutes and do the exact same thing. Write down your skills. Write down things that you become good at. Like when you go to your mother or your father and say, hey, how would you finish this sentence? John is good at blank. How would they finish that sentence? Like ask other people, get feedback. And what you're going to see after you've completed the left side and the right side, there's going to start to be a little bit of an overlap. Not everything is going to overlap, but a few things will overlap. And those four or five overlaps are called the zone of fire. That is your zone of fire. Your zone of fire is going to what? It's going to be your curiosity mixed and mingled with your expertise, your passions merging with your skills. That is your zone of fire. That's where your podcast topic lies, where you can combine both sides of this equation. But then you're going to get that zone of fire. You're going to Google it. You're going to say, John, somebody's already doing it. Ho oh, hum back to the drawing board. And that's kind of when I get my military bearing back. And I say, soldier, about face 180 degrees. 
that is proof of concept, the fact that somebody's doing your zone of fire. It would be a red flag if nobody was doing your zone of fire. So what you now need to do is do these three things. Number one, do it differently. Number two, add your UVD, that unique value distinguisher. And number three, add your personality. And you can't but help add your personality. So that's kind of a good gimme. So how did I do these three things with Entrepreneurs on Fire? Well, I did it daily for the first 2,000 episodes. That's right. That's three zeros. 2,000 episodes. I did a daily show. That was different. Nobody was doing that. Also, I did a formatted show. Nobody was doing a formatted show where I asked the same four questions on every single episode. People knew when they pressed play what they were getting on my podcast. And then number three, me. I was my personality. I was JLD. And that was how I was different in all of those areas. Now, we need to talk about you defining your avatar because this holds people back. And when you get this wrong, and believe me, 99% of podcasters get this wrong, it is bad. It is unfortunate. It will slow you down. And we do not want to be slowed down in any way, shape, or form. Now, your avatar is the one perfect listener of your podcast, the one perfect listener of your podcast. Now you can see right there that my avatar is Jimmy and he is hanging out and he's driving. He's listening to entrepreneurs on fire. Don't worry. He is at a stop sign right now. So he's not looking at his phone while he's driving. He is safely at a stop sign and he's not going anywhere. His wheels are stopped, <laughs> but Jimmy is my avatar. Let me give you a little example about what an avatar sounds like. Jimmy is 38 years old. He has a wife and two kids, ages three and five. He drives to work by himself every single single day. It's a 25 minute commute to work. He gets to work. He sits in a cubicle at a job he doesn't like, works there for eight hours, gets back into his car, drives home, gets stuck in traffic. So it takes him 35 minutes to get home. And then when he gets home, he plays with his kids. He has dinner with his family, puts his kids to bed, hangs out with his wife for a little bit. And then at the end of the night, Jimmy has what I call a Jimmy pity party. Jimmy sits there by himself in the dark and he just has a little pity party. He says, why do I spend 90% of my waking hours doing things that I don't enjoy doing? Driving to work, sitting in a cubicle at a job I don't like, driving home, and only 10% of my waking hours doing things that I love, spending time with my wife, with my kids, with my family. Jimmy needs to listen to entrepreneurs on fire when he's driving to work in the morning and he needs to be listening when he's driving home at night. And then how about when he's home on the couch by himself, instead of having a pity party, listen to entrepreneurs on fire. He is my avatar. I create my podcast for him. So I know who Jimmy is inside and out. So that when I come to one of the 1000 forks in the road that I come to and believe me as entrepreneurs and podcasters, we all come to 1000 forks in the road on a very consistent basis. I don't try to make these decisions. Like I don't say left, right, left, left, right, because that is wasted time, energy, bandwidth, and money, because guess what? I should not be making these decision, decisions anyways. I am not the perfect listener of my podcast. I'm the host. I'm not the perfect listener. So I need to be listening to what my avatar wants. I need to take the weight of the world off of my shoulders and place it onto Jimmy and just say, WWJD, what would Jimmy do? Would he go left? Would he go right? What does he want? What does Jimmy want? That is so important. And then I'm off to the races. Just think about that, my friends, how much easier your life will be when you stop trying to make all the decisions, which by the way, you should not be making anyways, and you let your perfect listener make the decisions for you, the person who should be listening. Questions I get every day, John, what should I podcast about? How long should it be? Interview or topic based? How many times per week? What category should I be in? Uh, that's when I kind of growl a little bit and I say, what would your avatar want? What would your avatar want? Because I want to share something with you and with every single person that's on this webinar today. I'm not going to listen to your podcast. I am not going to listen to your podcast. I'm sorry. I'm sure it's going to be a great podcast, but I'm not going to listen to your podcast. So why do you care what I think about all of these questions? You should care what your avatar thinks. So you need to go through our avatar training and craft your perfect avatar. So let's talk about different types of podcasts because a lot of people just think that there's only an interview podcast and that is like entrepreneurs on fire. I do interview entrepreneurs. So that is a type of podcast and it's a great type of podcast. There's also topic base where people like Kate has a great podcast called Kate's take behind the scenes of a seven figure business. And that's exactly what it is. She just talks about topics. It's just her and a microphone and you, the listener. And she just talks about topics that are important to running a seven figure business. There's Q and a shows like Pat, 
at Ask Pat. You guys probably know Pat Flynn. It's a great Q&A podcast. There's variety shows like Sean Stevenson of the Model Health Show. This is a great podcast. Um, and this is a variety show where he either does a topic or an interview, and sometimes he does Q&A. He does all of the above. And that's a great way to run a podcast because it really allows your listeners to get all the sides of you, all the different sides of you. And that can be really cool. I want to also be very clear that your podcast can be ongoing, like Entrepreneurs on Fire has been ongoing for over 2,000 episodes now, or it could be seasonal. People like Michael Hyatt, Kate, they do seasonal shows where they do a season, then they stop for a couple months, and then they start a season back up again. So don't think that when you start a podcast, it can never end. You can do a seasonal format and really give yourself those breaks that you may need. Different types of podcast equipment, because I'll tell you, this is where people really slow down, get stuck, get freaked out. All you need is a computer, a microphone, and recording software. That is all you need, these three things. Let's talk microphones. The Logitech ClearChat is 30 bucks. You can order it on Amazon today. This is what my guests on Entrepreneurs on Fire must have at a minimum. They must have this. This is a very good quality mic. The medium cost is the ATR2100. This is what Kate's had um, for, from the day that she started her podcast. And this is what I use when I'm on the road. This is a very high quality microphone. You can pack it up. It's USB. It just plugs into any USB port. And this is actually my number one ranked uh, microphone that I recommend when you combine cost and quality. So if you can afford around 80, sometimes a 70, sometimes it even gets as low as 60 bucks, you just gotta check Amazon. Um, this is a great option. Now the high cost is the Heil PR40. This is $327. This is broadcast quality microphone. And I will say, this is a gift for yourself a couple years down the road. If you start making a lot of money straight, strictly from your podcast, then maybe you give this to yourself as a gift, but this is not necessary by any stretch of the, of the imagination. Recording and editing software. My number one recommendation to both record and edit your podcast is Adobe Audition. This is what I've used to record and edit all 2000 of my episodes. It is amazing. In Podcasters Paradise, we have every video tutorial that you need on how to become a podcasting recording and editing pro on Adobe Audition. So we have you covered. Audacity is awesome too. A lot of people love it. Just like Audition, it works on both Macs and PC. So it's flexible that way. And we have every video tutorial you need in Paradise on Audacity, which is how you can both record and edit your podcast. And the same goes for GarageBand. This is for Mac lovers. It becomes pre-installed on your Mac and you can record and edit your podcast directly in uh, GarageBand. And we have all the tutorials waiting you as well. So is tech still holding you back? Like, do you think that this is what your studio needs and maybe even should look like? I mean, this is like a 1970s Ron Burgundy Anchorman style photo right here. I don't even know where I got this photo from, but I think I see Will Ferrell poking his head out around the corner there. I mean, my friends, this is the EO Fire studio. You know, you saw my studio briefly when I started off on video, but this is the EO Fire studio. This is really what it looks like um, in, in 2018 when you want a podcast. You need a microphone, a computer, and you're off to the races. So let's talk about the seven step podcasting process because again, a lot of people think there's like a million steps. There's only seven. Record your podcast, add an intro and an outro, export your MP3, which is just like saving a Word document, tag that podcast, upload it to your media host, schedule it for when you want it to be released, and then press the publish button. That's literally it. So let me kind of take you through this video. This is in Adobe Audition right here, as you can see. Adobe Audition. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and press the play button. We're going to go ahead and walk through some live training of me recording a podcast in Adobe Audition. So first off, I'm going to title this. Wednesday, June 6th, May, you know, two, uh, May 2018 podcast masterclass. I'm going to go ahead and press that little red record button. And you know, what should I say for a nice little short and snappy episode, prepare to ignite. And that'll be it. Like that'll just be the podcast episode that I use for sample purposes. I'm going to go ahead over to that button and open up the intro and the outro, which I pre-recorded to save you um, some time watching me do this. And then I'm going to go ahead and drag the intro over. And that intro is pretty long. So I'm actually going to accordion that intro down to make it fit um, to the parameters that I want it to. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and drag the podcast episode up. And then I'm going to go ahead and drag the outro over. And wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. That is a podcast episode intro, sam uh, actual session, and then outro. Then I'm going to go ahead and export the MP3, which again is just like saving a Word document. I'm just going and saving it to my desktop. Then I'm going to open up ID3 Editor. You can see open with ID3 Editor right there. And that's going to allow me to tag this MP3 with a title, with an artist, with an album. I'm going to want to go ahead and enter in some comments, which is just basically the description of the podcast. I'm just going to use the word test for sample purposes here. Um, enable that podcast tag. And then I'm going to go over to the lyrics. I'm going to fill that in with whatever the description is. Again, test just for sample purposes. I'm going to add the logo under the um, uh, uh, under the image part. And then boom, that's a tagged MP3. Now I'm going to load up uh, Libsyn. And then Libsyn is my media host. Under content, I'll click add new episode. And then under add new episode, I'm going to go ahead and click on add media file populate with the ID3 data that I just submitted. I'm going to find that MP3, which is just sitting on my desktop. And then boom, the title pre-populates, the description pre-populates because I put it all in the tagging. And then I'm able to go down and check my logo. Logo looks great. And then I go under schedule and release. And this just is for when I decide to release the episode. I'm going to choose the date of February 2025 because I don't actually want to release this episode. You know, this is just a sample episode, of course. Press the publish button and voila, that's now a published episode. Now I can go under scheduled for release just to check my work. And there it is, the podcast masterclass. Um, as you can see, it's going to go live on Saturday, February 1st of 2025 at 2.30 a.m. Um, sweet. Now I can check out those buttons there just for... Um, just to explain that. It's like just details, the edit button. I can click more if I want to remove it or check the stats. And voila, that is literally the seven step podcasting process, all the way from recording to publishing your podcast. It is really that simple. It can really be that fast. Of course, in Podcasters Paradise, we break every single one of these steps out individually and go over them in detail so that you can feel 100% comfortable every step of the way and soon be whipping through in under three minutes yourself the seven step podcasting process so let's move on to growing your audience i'm going to stop for a second take a sip of water and then i'm going to say what's up in the chat so give me a big hello right now and uh, then i will dive right back into the presentation All right, I am back, and let me dive in and see what are people doing in the chat over here. We have Nancy. Uh, we also have Gina. We have Kiki in the house. We have Kelsey Smith, MH, Nancy Summers, Guest 981 in the house, Kevin M, Gina F, um, the H2 duo in the house, K, Rockin', Guest 981, uh, Alexander Michael Schwartz. I <laughs> love it. Um, let's see who else. A Ron says, A Ron. Love that. Denzel says, hey, what's up, everyone? What's up, Denzel? Gina in the house, rocking and rolling, and voila. Let's dive back to the five growth tactics, the top five tactics for growing your podcast. Number one is leverage podcast directories. As you can see in the upper right-hand corner here, you have Google Play, you have Stitcher, Pandora, Spotify, SoundCloud. All of these directories are very important. Now in Podcasters Paradise, we go in depth about how to best maximize and utilize these podcast directories. And you need to be because they are a very important and growing uh, factor of your successful podcast. But the mothership is iTunes. So we're going to focus on that right now because iTunes is the mothership. We only have time to really focus on one. So I want to focus on the most important one, which again is iTunes. Now, why is iTunes huge? Well, they have 525 million active users. That's just massive. And if you look at the top charts, you see Tim Ferriss, Dave Ramsey, Pat Flynn, myself, uh, Amy Porterfield, James Altucher, Michael Hyatt, just a lot of people who are taking advantage of being featured as a podcaster and like really having the opportunity to do what this next slide is all about is getting seen and noticed and identified and found for specific keywords. For instance, when people search for the word entrepreneur in that search bar that I circled in yellow, I'm the number two search result in all of iTunes for the word entrepreneur. 
That's phenomenal. Think of the organic traffic that sends me every single day because 45 million people are searching iTunes on a month-to-month basis. What words do you want to be found for? What words do you want to be found for? Think about that. And you won't be, (laughs) be being found for those words unless you have a podcast and you're correctly um, utilizing the different ways that you can be found for those words. So make sure that this is part of your 2018 plan because there's nothing better than free, organic, and focused quality traffic. 350 million people are accessing iTunes on their iPhone. That means 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Your voice, your message, your mission is within arm's reach of essentially the population of the United States of America. That's amazing. Number two, think about Android. Android's even way bigger than uh, iTunes, or I should say iPhone, and there's great apps on that like Google Play, Stitcher, um, Overcast, great things along those lines. So, I mean, it's just unbelievably mind-numbing to think the amount of people who literally are just a few thumbtaps away from hearing your podcast, from hearing your voice, your message, your mission. Now they're just making it so simple in the car. I mean, I just need to even just delete this and just to kind of show you guys what's going on behind here. I mean, now you have things like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, they are right in the dash of cars. So when you get to these cars, uh, when you get into your car nowadays and you just jump on in, I mean, it is absolutely uh, amazing and unbelievable that you have this ability just to turn your car on and boom, you're going to be l- able to listen to the podcast just like that. You're going to be able to just tap on your dashboard and boom, your voice, your message, your mission is being played through the speakers. And this goes for everybody of your potential listeners as well. The barriers are just dropping, dropping, dropping. Number two, the perfect launch plan. You need the perfect launch plan so that you come out with a bang for your podcast. This is the number two growth tactic. So remember, when you launch your podcast, have episode 000 be your first podcast. This is your about me podcast. Just like if you're, if you have a website, you have an about me page, which is, you know, about your, your brand, about you, about your website. You need an about me podcast, my friends, you need an about me podcast. And that's exactly what episode zero, zero, zero is. Also, you want to launch with three shows, not two, not one, not 10, but three shows. And yes, episode 000 is one of those three shows. Absolutely. So episode two and episode three are going to be very specific episodes to back up your about me episode. And again, we go into detail about what your episode 000 should exactly include and how long it should be in paradise and what those three shows should look like. And I really want you to remember that your vocabulary has to become subscribe, rate, and review. No longer are you going to say, hey, go check out my podcast, go listen, go download, go hear it. No, you're going to say, hey, I would love if you would go subscribe to my podcast. And if you feel like it's worthy, I'd love a rating and review. It just helps the show out so much. When you say that, instead of the prior, the download, the listen, the checkout, you are honestly subconsciously letting people know they need to subscribe. They need to become subscribers and they need to rate and review if they feel like they're getting value from that show. That's going to make a big difference over time in your ranking and your credibility in iTunes. Number three is leveraging the audience of your guests. I mean, look at these people that I had on my show within the first 90 days. Seth Godin, Barbara Corcoran, Tim Ferriss, Gary Vaynerchuk, Chris Brogan. I was able to leverage their audience in a major way by sending an email. And I have an email that goes out every single day that my episodes go live. And it just shares with my guests that their interview is live. And I give them one-click shares, easy, simple ways so that they can share my podcast and their interview with their audience. And so this is allowing Entrepreneurs on Fire to grow exponentially when my guest is sharing with their audience entrepreneurs on fire. So we have over 40 templates for things like this and social media and sponsorships, like everything you can imagine that you need for your podcast. We have it all. Cause I mean, we have invented the wheel with this stuff. So there's no need for you to reinvent the wheel. Just take what we've created, brand it as your own, you know, change it up to make it your personality 
but don't just start from scratch because we've already perfected these things for you. Number four, leverage existing communities. There's LinkedIn groups, Facebook groups, Google Plus, Meetup. You need to become a valuable member of these communities. You need to find these communities that are chock full of your avatar. So don't just go joining random groups, find groups that are full of your avatars and become a valuable member of those groups. Now, social media is critical and social media is a big game, as you know. And just like the different podcast directories have different best practices, every social media platform has different best practices for your podcast and you need to treat each differently and specific. So in Podcasters Paradise, we show you the exact ways to treat every single social media platform to maximize um, that social media platform's presence with your podcast. Now let's talk about money because my friends, if you're going to spend a lot of time, a lot of energy, and potentially you're going to invest money into your podcast, you want to be seeing a return on investment so that you can keep doing this for days, weeks, months, years to come. Because the number one question that I get is, John, how do you monetize to the tune of over $150,000 a month? Well, let me give you the top five ways that I monetize. Number five is coaching and membership masterminds. The first way that I ever monetized was when somebody came to me just a month after I launched a podcast and asked me to be their one-on-one -on -one mentor because this person grew to know, like, and trust me listening to my podcast. So that was how I first monetized. And then I said, hey, why don't I just make it available for me to have like group coaching, like membership masterminds. And so we launched Fire Nation Elite just about six months after we launched a podcast. And we had a hundred people in Fire Nation Elite paying us between two to $300 every single month. That was a five figure a month revenue generating machine for 30 straight months before we decided to shut it down because we were opening up different things like Podcasters Paradise, Webinar on Fire, launching books. We just had to take some things off our plate but these were two huge monetization plays for us for a really, really long time. A success story within Podcasters Paradise, we have Jody Flynn of Women Taking the Lead. She generated 13500 from one app. She did a podcast episode just on her avatar, and she had two clients come to her within three weeks and say, hey, I am your avatar, coach me. And best part, these were international students. She had always been stuck to the small town in Maine that she's from, but guess what? Now with her podcast, she has an international reach and she's making the most of it. Crowdfunding is huge. As many of you know, we have both the Freedom and Mastery Journal as physical products. We launched both of them on Kickstarter and they were absolutely huge successes. The Freedom Journal did $453,000. The Mastery Journal did $280,000 in just 33 days. So you can use your podcast to test and to you know, it's called crowdfunding for a reason to get your crowd of listeners to help you fund an idea or a project and to validate it. Affiliates are huge. We have affiliates like ClickFunnels, Bluehost, Audible, and we generate over $92,000 in the month that I highlighted here. Um, and this is what we do. We use services, we use products, and when they're great, we recommend them to our audience. And we have a, a website uh, URL, eofire.com slash resources. Head over there, check out how we do our resources page and model how you can do your resources page so that when you're on your podcast and you mention a product or a service, you can drive people back to your resources page and you can become an affiliate for that product where you're promoting that and it can be real revenue. Great example from Within Podcasters Paradise, we have Greg who has two affiliate relationships that were formed within one month, month of launching his podcast, Tiny Leaps, Big Changes. The most exciting part is they came to him. Sponsorships are also huge. If you listen to Entrepreneurs on Fire, you've heard me say Zip Recruiter, LegalZoom, Design Crowd, Braintree, and literally we... We should do it. We should add up, Kate. We need to figure out at some point how many different sponsors we've had on the podcast over the last six years because it's probably getting close to 100 at this point. And it's just exciting because I can tell you, we get a newsletter every every week as well um, from our, our, our sponsorship broker of all the companies that have signed up with them. And it's just tons of companies, huge name companies. You know, I've had HP sponsor my podcast. I mean, it's just so crazy and so funny to just see all of these companies seeing the benefits of sponsoring podcasts. Now we have a great example from within Podcasters Paradise. Kimberly Falker launched a very niche podcast in dance and all three of her podcasts had sponsors very quickly because the sponsors knew that every one of her listeners 
were perfect for their products and their services. Now on Podcasters Paradise, we have everything for you about how to find sponsorships, the email templates to use, the contracts that we use, how to actually negotiate effectively. Um, number one is products. This is the number one way that I like generating revenue. Uh, Podcasters Paradise is a specific example of that. A lot of people back in 2013 were saying, John, I love your show, but I love health or wellness or you know, knitting or gardening or dancing, I would love to be able to launch a podcast in that. And so we launched Podcasters Paradise back in October of 2013. And here we are five years later, or no, that's four, about oh, four and a half years later, uh, still rocking, still rolling, having a blast and serving over 3,500 people within Podcasters Paradise and growing. So that's how you can think about launching a podcast, creating free, valuable, and consistent content. That's obvious. That's a given. You're going to do that. Then you're going to grow an audience over that. Then you can ask that audience, what are you struggling with? They'll tell you their obstacles and their challenges and their struggles. And then guess what? You create the solution in the form of a product, in the form of a service, in the form of a community. All of these processes, they're right there in front of you. A great example is uh, from Paradise is Justin Williams. He launched a podcast called House Flipping HQ. And after people listening to it for a little while, they're like, Justin, we love this podcast, but we want to see video tutorials. We want templates. So he launched a course called House Flipping Formula within five months of launching his podcast because of popular demand. And he's been rocking that ever since. So in this month that I just highlighted right there, that was November of 2017. We did $208,000 in that month. And we, for the last 59 months now, have been publishing a monthly income report over at eofire.com slash income. So get over there, check it out, eofire.com slash income. Every single one of those income reports has a ton of value about things that are working for us in the monetization field. So you can emulate those successes, what's not working, what we failed at, so you can avoid our failures and everything in B. Between. So very exciting times, very exciting stuff. A lot of great information over there. We bring our lawyer, our CPA to drop value bombs as well. It's just really, really cool. So we've been going strong now for over 37 minutes. I've barely taken a breath as you can tell. So let's all take a deep breath. Now I want to just, I'm going to actually going to take my advice here. <gasps> There's my deep breath. Yes. <laughs> so why should you podcast? Why should everybody in the world podcast. No, just kidding. Not everybody in the world should podcast, but why should you specifically podcast? Cause you are seeking out this content. You are here today. You're spending your time learning. Why should you podcast? Um, you should podcast because you want to connect with influencers in your niche, because you want to build authority and influence because you want to share your voice, your message and your mission with the world. Cause you want to build a foundation to launch your business. Cause you want to create a platform to sell your products, your services, your community, cause you want to achieve lifestyle and location independence. These are all reasons you should podcast. What are problems of not doing a podcast? Well, you're in the same spot you were six months ago. You're not growing that foundation. You haven't connected with any influencers in your industry, which is so critical. You haven't built an audience, which is absolutely uh, just something you must, must do these days. You haven't just built that strong foundation. You're not sharing your voice, your message, your mission with the world, and you're no closer to that lifestyle and location and potentially financial independence that you're looking for. So let's talk about Podcasters Paradise. What is Podcasters Paradise? Well, it is the premier podcasting community in the world. We have over 200 video tutorials for beginners who are looking to create and then launch their podcast, for intermediates who want to grow their podcast audience, for experts who want to monetize and create multiple streams of income. And just to be a kind of just to really break down what Podcasters Paradise is, it has every resource that you need, every step-by-step -step video, every template, and every question that you have about podcasting is answered, period. And if you join today, we have 90 days of completely free access to our monthly live Q&A sessions. We've had people from Pat Flynn to Tim Ferriss to Amy Porterfield to Michael Hyatt. In fact, we're hosting one today right after this. So if you join Podcast Paradise today, you'll have access to our live Q&A sessions that we do every single month. And again, we're doing our next one 
in about 30 minutes from now. So you'll be able to have access to that. Um, and you're also gonna get 90 days of completely free access to our private Facebook group. And this has over 2,400 members now of people that are just podcasters so that you can exchange honest iTunes reviews. We do what's called a pay it forward Friday, every Friday where we do just that. We exchange honest iTunes reviews. We find guests for your show. We find opportunities for you to be a guest on other shows. You can exchange the latest tips, tools, and tactics with other podcasters. You can get, re you can receive feedback for your logo, your format, the overall feel of your show. You can hone your interview skills by practicing with others. And oh, by gosh, by golly, do I wish that I had started honing my interview skills before I just jumped into the water and started interviewing people left and right. Like practice, 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 and so much more. So let's check it out. Here's a video of Podcasters Paradise. I'm gonna kind of walk you through this. This is actually behind the scenes inside of the Podcasters Paradise community. As you can see, we have the nav bar for create, grow, monetize resources. We have that search bar. So you can search for whatever you want. Like let's just say randomly that it's Audacity. Boom, all the stuff you need to know about Audacity is right there in the search results. Um, under the create tab, we have everything you need to create your podcast. The idea, the interview, the topic base, the video podcast, everything that you need about creating your podcast. Under equipment, Everything you need about equipment, as you can see, it opens up into this nice little collapsible area so you can find exactly what you're looking for quickly. You can press the play button on videos. You are literally off to the races. Um, we have the grow tab. The grow tab just has everything you need to grow your podcast, whether it be from your website, building an email list, social media, specific tactics using uh growth tactics for your podcast. We have a whole monetize section about affiliate sponsorship services, creating products. Every single one is different and every single one has a plethora of information inside. Like for instance, when I open up the sponsorships, you can just see there's a ton of things underneath there for your sponsorship um, to engage and to actually understand and learn all about podcasts, the templates, the PDFs, et cetera. It's all there. It's all waiting for you nothing left out. The webinars, you can go back in our archives. We have, again, hundreds now of these webinars who we've done with amazing people over the years. Um, the Tim Ferrises, the Michael Hyatt, the Ramit Sethi's, Lewis Howes, Amy Porterfield. We have just had amazing people on our Podcasters Paradise webinars, and they've just rocked the mic, and they've had a great time. They shared some amazing and evergreen content that I think is just really important um, to continue to learn from because these are the best of the best. Uh, you can go into the resources tab. You can see under resources, you just have everything from tools to podcasters to accountability to templates to all that jazz, everything you need to learn how to podcast. This is probably my favorite one right here. I mean, this is every single podcast that's launched from Podcasters Paradise broken out by categories. You can find similar podcasts um, and you can just really – uh, get to know people that are in your niche, in your industry, doing some awesome things. So that was just a little sneak peek into Podcasters Paradise, the behind the scenes. You can see we take so much time, so much care. It's truly an amazing, beautiful, and incredibly user-friendly experience. So let's talk investment in Podcasters Paradise. You get lifetime access. So this is you just having lifetime access to all the upgrades and updates that we're going to be doing over the years to all the Podcasters Paradise content for a one-time payment of $850. And again, that gets you lifetime access to everything. We also have a payment plan. 12 payments of $85 is going to grant you lifetime access as well. So very exciting times with that. Um, and we have a 30-day, absolutely no questions asked money-back guarantee. So if you ever decide over the first 30 days that Paradise just isn't for you, maybe you're not going to be starting your podcast right away, you want to just kind of hold off, 30 days, no questions asked. You can get in, you can look around, you can consume all the content, check out the Facebook group, all the webinar archives, everything. And if it's not for you, no worries. We have a 100% money back guarantee. Uh, we also actually also have a fast action bonus. This is something that I'm really excited about. The first three people to join Podcasters Paradise today, if you're in the United States, you're going to get a Freedom Journal shipped to your door. If you're outside of the United States, we're going to immediately send you access to the complete digital pack of the Freedom Journal. So fast action bonus for all those people out there, the first three to join. If you're in the U.S., 
you're going to get the Freedom Journal shipped to your doorstep as a gift from myself and Kate to you. So use this journal as a 100-day goal going forward, and you're going to absolutely love it to launch your podcast, to monetize your podcast. And if you're outside of the States, we will immediately grant you access to the complete digital pack, which has the fillable PDF, the audio book, and all the other awesome stuff that comes along with that. Now, what you get access to in paradise, lifetime access to all the videos, the accountability, the resources, the templates, the live chat, the support, the frequently asked questions, lifetime access. Plus you get 90, day, 90 days of access to our exclusive Facebook group and our monthly webinars that we do. Again, we're doing one today. So what are some paradise are saying? Well, Kathleen of Wellness Business Podcast is saying, we could not have launched our podcast without this course. Paradise gave us everything we needed to successfully plan and launch our podcast. To say we knew nothing about starting a podcast is an understatement, yet with the step-by-step -step video tutorials, templates, guidance, and support, we were able to launch our podcast much sooner than expected. Chandler Bull says, I used Paradise to launch the self-publishing school podcast and I couldn't be happier. The course helped me every step of the way by giving me step-by-step -step instructions and showing me the landmines to avoid. As a result, my podcast has 35,000 downloads, 269 reviews, and thousands in business revenue within two months of launching. I highly recommend this course, if you're going to launch a podcast. And Laura says, I'm extremely grateful for my experience in paradise. My dream of having a podcast has come true. Thanks to the incredible support, training, and inspiration of JLD and Kate and the entire paradise community. The training is so extensive and broken down into digestible pieces. I felt guided through each and every step. The video tutorials are priceless. So if you want to join Podcasters Paradise today, just click that button right below the video. Yes, I want to join Podcasters Paradise. Or you can just click on the link the case going to drop in the chat, which is eofire.com slash join paradise. It's going to take you to this page right here, where you can choose the 12 payments of $85, or you can save $170 and do a one-time payment of $850. And we have a couple options for the elite package. We offer two of these per month. It's called the elite package. And you get everything that we talked about with paradise plus a 30 minute call with me, an intro and an outro for your podcast and an audio bumper. So you get all of that awesome stuff. So want to be very clear about the no questions asked 100% money back guarantee. This is something, you know, that I just want you to, to be able to look at and say, this makes this an absolute no brainer because that's truly what it is. And let me actually jump on video real quick, just to kind of give you guys a hello, kind of change things up a little bit. Um, whew, it's been a very intense 47 minutes now that we've been hanging out. I've been going strong. I want to respect your time. I know you're busy. I know you have things to do. So I wanted to just really give you as much content as I could in a very effective manner. But I do just want to look in the video, look in your eyes, so to speak, and to say, if you're even considering launching a podcast in 2018, the time to join Podcasters Paradise is now. Later this year, we're actually going to be closing the doors to Podcasters Paradise to new members. Nothing's going to change for current members, but we're not going to let anybody else join Podcasters Paradise while we do some work to Paradise, while we do some back-end maintenance, while we, um, we're building a bigger team. So, I mean, we have some other things that are going on. We're going to be adding more content, doing some things, and then we will reopen the doors down the line. But when we do reopen those doors, the price is going to be higher. Um it's all, it's, that's, that's really what's going to happen. I mean, the price is just going to be higher to Podcasters Paradise. So if you join today, you are going to lock in the lowest price that we will ever offer Paradise from this day forward. So lock it in, make it happen, check it out for 30 days. It's risk-free because if you don't want to remain in, no harm off your back, no foul, every penny is returned back to you. So it's just an absolute no-brainer. So just wanted to jump in and say that and clarify what we have going on and what we have coming up. Um, let me go ahead and jump back into the presentation and jump on down to the timer because guess what, my friends? We are going to answer questions now. So any questions that you have, my friends, I'm going to answer one by one by one. This is a live Q&A time. So start asking questions away. Start asking, and we're just going to have a fun time doing that. So I will say we have a elite 
I like to give uh, shout outs to people that do join Podcasters Paradise Elite because uh, that is a pretty uh, a big purchase. So I just want to congratulate Kevin for making the investment in himself. And he's from Mainville, Ohio. So Kevin, that's our connection, brother, because guess what? I'm from Maine and you're from Mainville. So not only um, did you join the Podcasters Paradise Elite, my friend, but you also are one of the first three. So you are going to get um, a... Freedom Journal mail to your doorsteps. You're going to kind of get a bonus of a few things, which is pretty sweet. So Kay's sending me some questions right now. She has a, qu a question from a guest that says, do you script your episodes or ad hoc it? So, I mean, script is kind of an interesting word. I definitely do not script out my questions in any way, shape, or form. Uh, what I do is I usually do allow my guests to see what questions I'm going to ask them. And then we kind of go through what's called a flow or a format. And sometimes we go off, off path. Sometimes we stick to it. It just um, depends on what the episode and how it's flowing. So no scripting, but we do like to have the guests know it's coming just so they can definitely add as much value, uh, add as much value as possible. They're not like surprised, so to speak. Um, Aaron says, how do we get in three categories for iTunes? Um, Aaron, we have a whole video tutorial in Podcasters Paradise about how to get into three categories for iTunes. It, it's all dependent on your uh, media host. So I can't just go ahead and describe every single media host and how you do it here on um, this masterclass. But in Podcasters Paradise, we, we show you every single um, different audio hosting platform and how to get into three categories for iTunes. Kevin says, at what point did you go out and seek sponsors for the podcast? Uh, Kevin, it was actually at about the seventh month of, of my podcast that sponsors approached me, which is really interesting because I was going to, at some point, approach sponsors. I just didn't know when I was going to do that. But sponsors approached me at about the seventh month point, and it was just the right time. I was probably, within a, within a couple months, going to start approaching sponsors. Uh, but within Podcasters Paradise, we break down how to find sponsors, how to communicate with them, how to go back and forth. So you'll be covered in that area, Kevin. And if this is the Kevin that joined the Elite Package. We can definitely talk about that during our strategy session as well. Uh, Kel Kelsey says, how many downloads should I have before I reach out to potential sponsors and affiliates? Kelsey is definitely niche specific, meaning what area you're in. If you're like in a very broad niche like health or business, you're going to need more. But if you're in a very niche, like like dance, you know, like ballet, like my example over the, the webinar, um, then you can have a lot, lot less. So, you know, I'd say you should have at least a thousand per episode in a very niche podcast and in the more kind of broad areas between three to 5,000 per episode. Dolly says, I have a gold wave, um, which is similar to audacity. Um, in an audio record in Camtasia, will they work? Absolutely, Dolly. The answer is yes. John says, I see radio stations do a short version of podcast live and then uh, a pod and then podcast the whole thing. Has anyone tried that? So let me see if I can understand this. John says, I see radio stations do a short version of the podcast live and then podcast the whole thing. Has anyone tried that? John, I don't understand your question. Maybe if you want to rephrase that. Um, or say it in a different way. And I will then like to answer that question. Alexander says, I'm 22, just starting on this journey. What advice would you give a 22 year old self uh, to your 20, 22 year old self, knowing what you know now? Alexander, I would say, I would start my podcast, you know, because you're going to come up with a million reasons why you're not going to start your podcast. You're going to come up with excuses. You're going to have the imposter syndrome. Why? Because you're a human being. That's why you're going to have all those things. So, what I would say to you, it's just to launch, to launch an imperfect podcast, to do your best, but just know that you're going to get better every single day. Launch the podcast. Aaron says, how do you feel about audio interfaces for live guests for the ability to use two dynamic mics? Absolutely, Aaron. It's going to work really well if you're using a dynamic mic because it won't pick up the other person's audio um, almost at all as, as long as you guys are a few feet away. So I feel like you're going to be great. You're going to be able to be off to the races. And as far as audio interfaces, um, I don't really know what you mean by how do you feel about audio interfaces. I guess, you know, I would just say I feel great about them. <laughs> and that yes, it sounds like what you're looking to do is going to work just A-OK. -okay. Uh, so let's see if there's any more questions. Um, looks like Kate's gotten all the questions. 
and that we have so far. So I'll kind of stick around if there's any last minute questions. But otherwise, let me just say thank you to everybody who's joined us live on this masterclass today. You know, we have Susan, Seth, Jason, Denzel, Kay, Gina, John, Alexander, Nancy, Kelsey, Greg, Sail, Snail Bale, <laughs> uh, Michelle, Derek S., Kiki, Amy, Grace, Dolly, Kevin. Um, let's see. Uh, John says, BBC has some radio programs which are limited to 25 minutes, so they have to edit, and then they podcast a whole longer version. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea, John, because then that would kind of promote it like a behind-the-scenes type of thing. And I would even promote that during the 25 minutes and be like, listen, you know, we're going to have to be cutting down some of this because we can't have it all on. So if you want the entire unedited version and all the behind-the-scenes stuff, you know, make sure you listen to our podcast as well. Uh, Nancy says, thank you, John and Kate. You are welcome, Nancy. Thank you. Uh, Aaron says, keep an eye out for sober tapes coming soon. <laughs> Good stuff. Um, thanks so much, JLD and Kate, says Aaron. Hey, Aaron, why wasn't that in all caps? Huh? Uh, we have Susan that says, you guys rock, uh, best info and community ever. Thanks, Susan. You're awesome. Uh, thank you, John and Kate, for providing rich content. Awesome, awesome. Kate just dropped our free gift to you for those of you that stuck around. Guest 981 says, JLD and, and Kate, this was great. Thank you. Uh, John says, JLD, I am signed up. Thanks. Awesome, John. Uh, excited to have you on the team, my friends. That is awesome and exciting times. Uh, let me see. I think I had another comment down there. Kay says, thanks, JLD and Kate. You are so awesome. There we go, Aaron. All caps. J JLD and Kate are the bomb. <laughs> and Susan says, my pleasure is the truth. Thanks, JLD. You, you helped us launch in 90 days, says the H2O duo. Love it. Love your message, guys. Keep it going. Gina says, thank you, JLD and Kate. Two thumbs up. Awesome. And in the souls of says, I'm in, and you are in, and I guess I, I'll just go ahead and uh, give a shout out to the uh, people that are the top three. We have uh, John Drinkwater from Colson in the United Kingdom. You're going to be getting a uh, the the complete digital pack, being in England, um, of the Freedom Journal. So thank you for that. And again, 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 uh, I said Kevin, Mr. Elite Package himself, is going to get a uh, Freedom Journal shipped to his door, being in Ohio. And then we have. Uh, Shanice from California, Plumas Lakes, Plumas Lake. I've never heard of that place, but it sounds cool. Um, you're also going to get a freedom journal shipped to your door. So congratulations to the action takers. Um, you know what, you know, Whitney was number three, it was number four. She just joined. She's from Roanoke. So, you know, I'm going to say Whit Whitney, I'm going to send you a freedom journal as well, just because, uh, you know, you were so close to being in the top three. So you're going to get it as well. So thanks everybody for hanging out and thanks for the kind words for me and Kate. You guys all rock. Uh, Kevin says, thanks, John and Kate. Kevin, looking forward to speaking with you soon. Um, you should have an email about your next steps of the elite package. John, you are on fire, brother. And guest7749 says, what about interview questions? Where is a great place to start? Um, that's a great question, guest. It's so dependent on what niche you're in. You know, what if you want to give me some more context, maybe at a different time because we're wrapping up here. But if you want to give me some context about what your topic's going to be, what your niche is going to be, then we can start talking about that stuff. So hope everybody had a great time. We'll send the replay out soon, and I will catch you on the flip side.